Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Cosorex the Retinol Serum, which contains 0.5% of pure retinol, which is a vitamin A derivative. And this helps to renew the skin cells on the skin's surface, which then over time reduces wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, skin texture, clears pores and therefore reduces acne breakouts. It is supported by plant-derived squalane, which is similar to our natural oils on the skin and it should help to keep the skin very high and soft to balance it out with the dryness that your retinol may cause to the skin and at the same time due to the hydration and plumbing that it offers you can see a reduction in fine lines. Now this retinol treatment can be used on all skin types in your evening skin routine. Just make sure that when setting up your skin routine to have a balance with other treatments because some of them can cause irritation and sensitivities when using them in the same routine. Of course it all depends on the strength and the skin tolerance but generally speaking to make sure that everything goes well I recommend keeping them separate and we are starting off with exfoliating acid cleansers in that example you can use your exfoliating acid cleanser in the morning your retinol with non exfoliating acid cleanser in the evening or you may want to alternate between them in the evening if you just want to use it in the evening same would apply to strong exfoliating acid mask when using your mask skip your retinol serum and then on the other days you may be fine to keep on going with your retinol serum to make sure that your skin is not getting overwhelmed but keep the frequency in mind and then we are talking about leave-on exfoliating acid toners or serums ideally both should be used in the evening therefore I recommend alternating between them in the evening and then we are also referring to strong uh, quite potent vitamin C products that contain ascorbic acid it isn't really a problem with vitamin C derivatives but more so if you can see that it mentions ascorbic acid on the ingredients list and it's a quite high high percentage as you can see in my examples. Use your vitamin C in the morning, your retinol in the evening or both in the evening but on alternate days. And the last conflict that I want to emphasize which is always quite confusing is the difference between retinol, retinol, we have active retinoid or retinoid. Those are all forms of vitamin A and therefore they offer similar benefits. I recommend just sticking to one of them. Do not use multiple formulations as otherwise again it can lead to irritations. And so there you have the major conflicts that you should keep in mind when setting up your skin routine. Now I have prepared for you an example morning and evening skin routine to give you a general guide what the order of application would look like. And we are going to get started with the evening skin routine since this is where we recommend using your retinol serum. Now let's get started with first of all properly washing your face using a non-exfoliating acid cleanser that's suitable for your skin type. Here you can see some examples. Then rinse it properly off the skin. Then if you like to include a hydrating toner or essence, you can see those steps are optional, but this would be the order of application. And then move on to your retinol serum before, if still needed, applying your moisturizer on top of it. It is completely fine to use your retinol on its own as it can already be quite hydrating or just in combination with a lightweight toner or essence. The moisturizing step is really just a step if you have dry skin or experience dryness still when doing this combination. Then if you're trying to remove stubborn mineral sunscreen or waterproof makeup, well I recommend switching up your cleanser to an oil or balm cleanser to properly lift this off the skin and then either use it on its own, properly rinse it off and then there you have it. Or if rinsing off becomes quite difficult with your oil or balm cleanser, you may find it a bit more helpful to do a double cleanse. Using your oil or balm cleanser at first to break down your stubborn sunscreen and makeup and then lead into your non-exfoliating acid regular water-based cleanser to remove any last traces that you may have missed before continuing with the rest of your evening skin care routine. Now below the example routines you'll find the overall general guide plus the frequency. Since this retinol contains 0.5% I recommend starting off by using it two to three times per week for two to four weeks depending on how your skin is going to tolerate it. So give your skin the time. Once you feel like your skin is ready you can increase it to every other day. Again give it some time to adjust to that frequency and then maybe up to daily. This is completely based on your skin tolerance therefore you need to adjust this individually. 
Now, this would be then the setup of your evening skincare routine. As for your morning skincare routine, the major focus is your cleansing step to properly wash your face, as well as your sunscreen application during the daytime if you have sun exposure. Of course, the toner, essence, and your specific treatment that you may want to use are optional steps, which you can include, but you don't have to. And then this would be the setup of an example, morning and evening skincare routine. Now, if you want to go over the example skincare routines in your own time, plus you want to see what products that I have picked, for whom they are suitable, what they specifically do, like what they offer, the benefits, and you want to see a little description next to them, I have this in my PowerPoint after the example routines plus conflicts, you find the product descriptions and a general guide, like how you can do a patch test, which I highly recommend doing, the difference between wet and damp skin, some layering tips, plus a sunscreen application and removal guide, and if you want wear makeup. It's all in my PowerPoint and you'll find it in the description box down below and you can download it to your device if you want to recreate it at home. Now let's get started with the application. Now before you apply Cosrx the retinol serum to the skin it is important to properly wash your face. Use lukewarm to warm water as this helps the cleanser to work more effectively and when choosing a cleanser remember that it needs to be a non-exfoliating acid cleanser, a gentle one that's suitable for your skin type to effectively remove excess oil, dirt, sweat, sunscreen and makeup from the skin. In this example I'm using Beauty of Joseon's Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser which is suitable for all skin types. It's a gentle hydrating foaming cleanser that I highly can recommend. So let's go ahead and do this. First, wet your face with lukewarm to warm water. Next, squeeze out a small amount of the cleanser. Foam it up between your hands. And then evenly massage it all over your face for about 30 seconds. Rinse well using your hands. If you prefer, you can use a soft, clean microfiber washcloth as a helper. Wet it with lukewarm to warm water, squeeze it out so that it's damp, and then gently swipe it over your face, focusing on the hairline, around the eyes and the neck to remove last traces of cleanser, makeup and sunscreen. Then rinse your face again several times, ensuring everything is removed. Do not apply your retinol serum to wet skin, as this can cause skin sensitivities and irritation. Instead, gently pat your skin dry with a clean towel. Now before you apply Cosrx the Retinol Serum to the skin, you can apply your favorite hydrating toner or essence. And in this example, I'm using Cosrx Snail Essence to add a lightweight, breathable hydration layer to the skin. To apply the snail mucin, dispense one to two palms onto your fingertips. Rub your fingers together to distribute the essence and then evenly blend it over your face and neck, avoiding the eyelids and lips. Now let it absorb into the skin for about 30 to 60 seconds before moving on to your retinol serum application. This burns 3 to 4 drops of the retinol serum onto the palm of your hand or fingertips. Rub them together to distribute the serum and then blend it evenly over your face and neck, avoiding the eyelids, immediate eye area and lips. If your hands feel too oily or smeary, you can wash them in between, then dry them with a clean towel. After you have used the retinol, remember to store it in the fridge to maintain its stability. Now you can stop at this point and there's no need to follow with an additional moisturizer on top. Especially not if you have used your hydrating toner or essence before your retinol serum, as this should give you enough hydration. Unless you have a drier skin type or dryness still should occur over time, then you can follow with a moisturizer afterwards. But make sure to give your retinol serum 1-2 to two minutes to properly absorb into the skin and then choose a non-comedogenic moisturizer suitable for your skin type that you can use on top of it. And in this example, I'm using the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. Squeeze out a bean-sized amount onto your fingertip. Rub your fingers together to distribute the moisturizer and then evenly blend it over your face and neck. Then leave it on the skin, do not wash it off. And that's it! You'll find the entire PowerPoint, including example skin routines, conflicts and product descriptions and so much more in the PowerPoint which I will leave in the description box down below for you to download. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring!